28th of November 2017. This is a sapphire hamster. 12 hamster, uh, female. female, two months old. Now, uh, according to the owner, five five days ago, right? You, you spotted some redness. Mm -hmm. When five days ago? Yeah, five days ago. Uh, where? The redness. Uh, around, what's that? What's that? around the back, near the ear. Mm. Okay, so the owner saw a small red spot here, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it was probably two millimeters. Was it two millimeters at that time? The main very yeah, small. Around that. Then, size. then uh, you 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 brought you to a vet. The vet prescribed four types of medication. One is revolution. Revolution uh, mm -hmm. is for the mites. And then uh, she prescribed antibiotics. Betril, which we we don't show because the, the name is there. Betril, and then the cream, silver zinc cream for the apply apply under the wound and of course this is the she prescribed uh, any fungus huh? any fungus uh, solution okay now now you just take the torch now on closer examination of this of this hamster actually this wound is quite a Big wound, huh? it's, it's already infected. I think the owner also applied the cream. You applied the cream, right? So she applied the cream, and the hamster was doesn't like the cream, and uh, keep on scratching it. Appetite still okay? Still okay. Now, this one I say I say it's an interesting case because actually, if you examine closely, there's a wart there. A wart, no? You saw the wart, right? Yeah. Or you didn't see? I saw. Did the vet see? Yeah. Okay, now from my experience with the hamsters, they hate having warts uh, on the ears. Uh, that's because it's quite irritating to them. This wart is quite a big one. It's about uh, four millimeter across. Now, so from what I see, the origin of the wound would be the hamster is scratching, trying to scratch away this wart. Uh. Now, has proof of it. I can, you can see the hair loss there, you see? The hair loss between the wart and the wound is an area of hair loss. Do you apply anything? You see the hair loss. This mm. part there's no hair. So although the hamster cannot talk, but you can tell that he's been scratching here. He's trying to scratch away the wart. Mm. And uh, and in the process, the claws uh, from the back leg. You saw you saw the hamster scratching? Mm -hmm. Using the back leg to scratch. Try to scratch the wart. So in the process, injured a uh, small part of the skin here which is quite near to the wall, and then after that it becomes more infected and uh, was there any pus at the time? No. No. Uh, Just uh, so what happened is the vet prescribed did she put the thing inside here? the, the anti-mite revolution? No, just on the neck. On the neck, yeah. So the vet the vet covers everything, uh, mite so revolution here and then uh, advise her to apply, how long you apply the cream? Silver zinc? Never really say how long, but how well, long? I assume it's until it heals. Uh. How long you apply? Five days. Uh, daily? How many times a day? Twice. Uh, so, the, the the owner applied the cream. Now, some hamster don't like the cream, so it it, it becomes uh, more irritated. So, it's probably using the hind leg to scratch, right? Mm -hmm. uh, trying to scratch away the cream, and uh, so has the has the hamster injured injured herself. The wound becomes bigger and bigger. So, the vet suspect is ringworm, so she's prescribed ringworm uh, uh, oral medication, uh, itraconazole. Do you give the ringworm? Sorry, the bottle one. Uh. Uh, do you give? Yeah, I give. But it's, she thought it was fung fungus. Fungus, uh, yeah, on ringworm. On the ear. Huh? <laughs> fungus on there? On the ear. She thought it was on the ear. Yeah, that was for what? Now. It's a quick check for ringworm, this ultraviolet light. We hold the hamster on this side first. No, use the other hand, I don't use this hand to block me. Eh? Okay, I will just have a quick look if there's fluorescence. Then, uh, then uh, it, 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 it might confirm ringworm. A quick check. No, it doesn't fluoresce. It doesn't fluoresce because owner is a person with cream and washes. Uh, yeah, but quite a lot, right? Uh, Silver Zena, today this. I never, because mm. I thought of bringing it here. No, so but you apply for a few days, really. Uh, yeah, yeah. So even if it's ringworm, it will not be 
obvious because the cream will cover everything. Now anyway, my conclusion is that this is a scratch wound because according to the owner it was a very small one mm. and the the evidence of the cause of the scratching is the wart here there. It's quite a big wart. A big wart and probably the ear is dirty. Did, did, you, did, did, did this hamster go for a sand bath? Yeah, uh, but I put the sand bath as like inside the cage. So and she what, go I mean, there and pee. But did she use sand bath so you check the ears? So whether there's any discharge or not. It's quite clean. Did you put any ear drops? No. No, no. They see the tear. They come and see. Your eyes are okay. Mm. You see the thing, the yellow stuff? Mm. Uh, so each ear also will cause the hamster to scratch. You see now, I appear for you. So examining the hamster is more difficult than examining a dog actually, but but the ear has to be examined and you can see that there is a thick ear wax there deep inside and this is quite irritating even to a human being not, not only to hamsters so so this one plus a what causes the hamster to scratch now let's see the other ear the other ear is probably 30 or so but uh, as you can see there this ear there's a small what also there, this part now. But I didn't bother the hamster. There, this one, do you see? Bother. So, in conclusion, do a, do a proper examination of the hamster. Of course, weigh the hamster. We weigh the hamster just now. How many grams? 65. 65, yeah. So, this hamster has very good appetite, yeah? Good appetite. Let's see. Let's see at the teeth, huh? Part of the examination involves the teeth as well. See whether it's, whether it's short. If the teeth is short, it means it's good good appetite. Yeah, it eats well. It's, it's not long. Yeah, it's not long. The teeth. Huh? Yeah, the teeth is not overgrown. So overall, the solution is to clean the ears, remove the wart, and clean up the silver zine and whatever you apply. And uh, chances are that the hamster will recover. Now I just check the leg. The leg is okay, man. Okay. Okay. The front like, hmm? They got one like uh saggy skin. Huh, which one? Uh that the other side this side the leg. Oh why? What's on the leg? Then, the paw I mean. Yeah. Why? Uh there. Here below. Uh? Mm. Below uh, why? There's some hair loss, yeah. Uh yeah. That's the first uh first time I went to the bed. Yeah, I still mm -hmm. haven't killed yet. This hamster is actually very good. Normally you bite me. Yeah. Mm. But there's a wound here there. Was a wound there before? Yeah. But it recovered after the first one. When was that? You saw the vet? How long already? Probably like one month. One, one month. and a half month. Then not, not fully recovered. Actually the wound is still there. Okay. So it's probably the year, the dirty years there. And there's another ward here. I don't know where you saw, you can see it. No? Mm. Okay, so the recommendation is remove the wards under anesthetic. Mm. Two years and uh, clean the ears, irrigate under anesthetic because it's very difficult to do and then to remove the hard wax uh, mm. and uh, shave a bit and then clean this place up for you it's quite rough right now it's rough right there, there's something rough due to uh, infection okay, you did finish, thanks